Jim and I thought it would be a good idea to bring the camera in and just show what goes on day to day in our little studio. Uh, what's going to happen today is I'm going to throw. When I'm making pots, I like to make a bunch of pots at once. I throw, I get all my throwing and trimming done, and then I do the bisque and the glaze. I start a batch, I take it through the process, and then get it out of here. It's not a big studio. So what we're going to do today is we're going, as I'm going to work on a dinner set, I've got a dinner set that's due in about a month. I've got a bowl that should have been done a while ago, but I forgot and checked my email. <laughs> I'll get the ladies bowl done and I'm also working on inventory. At this point I don't have any pots in stock. I like to have the security of a few bins full of pots. So I'm going to do my dinner set, my bowl and work on some inventory. Before I do that I have to pug. I like to mix the clay. I like to pug me a mountain. I'm going to go over to the pug mill and start pugging. I do have a video on YouTube on how to pug, pug clay and the mixture I use I'm just going to squeeze this through here, and plugging it all is all explained online. And it takes a minute or so. When the hopper is finished, I'm going to fill it up again. I always make sure my hopper is full. I don't want it to dry out in there. I can't imagine what would happen if it dried out in there. Now sometimes I'll pug uh, the day before so I have all this ready for the next day so I can just jump on the wheel. But I always like to make sure if I'm going to throw today or throw tomorrow that my clay is nice and moist. I have this little spray bottle from the dollar store and make sure it's moist. Often when I'm pugging I'll put down a wet uh, plastic uh, and then I put the each layer on the wet and then spray between each layer to make sure it doesn't dry out. The, pug, uh, the pugs are on the, on the floor because if I put them on the table, it's a small work table, and I have this big mountain of pugs on here, then I have to move the whole thing to the floor, and I don't want to. <laughs> it's a lot easier if I just build it on the floor, and now I go to wedge, I can just move this out of the way, and I can bring them up one pug at a time, and I have my table not full of pugs, and I'm not trying to put 75 pounds of clay in one little fall swoop to the ground. Anyway, so I've got my, my pieces are pugged. I'm going to move them out of the way so I can wedge. And one thing I didn't say is I will tuck that pug mill in and make sure it doesn't dry up. I'm going to wedge up each piece of clay before I start. And I'm going to put it in the plastic with the same way I do with the pugging. I'm going to put it in a moist plastic, moisten each, each piece, and then wrap it up in plastic, keeping it moist. I'm going to start off with the 10 inch bowl that I'm supposed to make for the lady. And I know this piece of clay is going to be a 10 inch bowl, but more important, the clay knows that piece of clay is going to be a 10 inch bowl. I've made a lot of 10 inch bowls and I know how much clay it takes. It takes about a pug, so I'm just going to wedge that up and I've got my 10 inch bowl. I always put my clay either on a wet plastic or a wet table. I don't want it to have uneven moisture content. If the outside dries out, it's just hard to work with. So there's my 10 inch bowl. We both know it's a 10 inch bowl. Then I'll go through the clay and I've got a dinner set of four ordered. I'm going to make a dinner set of six. If you make six, nothing goes wrong. There's always room. You could drop one, break one, chip one, the glaze will go funny. They, go, they come through without a problem. If you have four ordered and you make four, you never get four. Anyway, so I'm going to throw six dinner plates and six, she wants salad, side, salad plates instead of the small little bread and butter plate. So I'm going to wedge up six balls of clay, six for dinners and six for salads, and then catch my breath. <laughs> okay, before I get all those little balls of clay wedged up, I want to prepare my plastic bag. This is just a garbage bag cut in half, opened up in half. I'm just going to spray it down. When the clay goes on here, it doesn't sit on a dry plastic, it sits on a wet plastic and the outside remains the same. Moisture content as the inside 
or even a little bit wetter. It's better to have it a wee bit wet on the outside than a bit drier. So anyway, I'm going to get this ready for my clay. Here's my first dinner plate. Five more. The clay is now all pugged and ready to go. I've got my salad plates, dinner plates, a 10 inch bowl that I'm not going to forget again. And this large piece of clay is I'm going to throw the dinner bowls off the hump. This bowl is more here, it's going to receive the bowls. I like to, when I get everything all wedged and all ready to go, like my tools in the bucket beside me, my water, my boards, I don't have to get up now for a while. I'm going to wet down this clay with my little misting bottle. Make sure the plastic is wet. Make sure the entire plastic sheet is wet, so no dry uh, clay on the dry sheet. That should be a nice, wet, ready to go pug clay. Now I'm gonna wrap this up in the plastic, and when I throw, I'm gonna take one piece out at a time. I can, at this point, if I don't wanna throw today, I can just make sure it's wrapped up really well, and tomorrow it's pugged and wedged and ready to go. So I can pug and wedge one day and throw tomorrow. I can do anything I like. <laughs> anyway, I'm ready to get uh, throwing. I'm gonna throw my plates and my bowls, and we'll come back tomorrow and see how far I got.